hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a church flyer so here i'm going to use four by four inches then i will leave my resolution at 300 then you create so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to import the background image i'm going to use the first one i'm going to import this one into photoshop then you scale it out this way then you drag it down okay then go to your filter blog gaussian blog then I'm going to use 12.5 then you click OK then I'm going to bring this second image then I'll scale it out like this then OK now go to your blending option then I'm going to use multiply then the opacity i'm going to make it 72 this way then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then you blend this area then you blend the bottom here okay Then I'm going to bring this image again. Then I'll drag it down like this. Okay, now your blending mode, then change it to soft light. Then the opacity, make it 51. Then you apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool and you blend it over here okay then bring this one again then you scale it out this way then position it at the top here then go to your blur gaussian blur then make it 9.0 then okay now apply your layer mask then you blend here It's okay then the opacity I'll make it 78 it's alright so now the other one I'm going to do again I'm going to draw a rent angle over here then leave the color at white now i'm going to group this one ctrl g then hold your shift ctrl plus alt key then you press e so this is what you will have then i will open the background then i will drop it over here now i will go to camera raw now this camera raw now then i'm going to enter this number here i'm going to use minus 21 then the tint i'm going to use 
minus 61. Then I'm going to come down here. Then select the clarity. I will enter plus 28. Then, and this one, I will enter plus 18. Then I'll click OK. Then allow it to load. All right. So here is my background now. So now I'm going to bring a church logo. Then right click, rasterize it, select your magic tool, then you click here, delete, control D to deselect, then reduce the size, then zoom out, it's okay. Now select your test tool, then come over here to copy this test, Control C, then this is the font I'm going to use, Hyman, then Control V to paste, then I'm going to select the font. Hi man. So here is the font. Then I'm going to increase the character spacing by twenty percent. Then Control A. Apply vertical alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Use your arrow key then to move it up. Then go to your drop shadow. Now, enter here 5. Then here you enter. Then, then the size, then you enter 6. So, you can see the, then I'll click OK. Then Ctrl J to duplicate, then you drag it down. Select your test tool, then copy this one. Then this is the font I'm going to use, Belinda Christiana. Then select your test, Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font. Then drag the font to the center here. And you scale it out like this. Position it this way. So, this is what you have. Then I'm going to the drop shadow again. Now I'm going to increase the opacity to 86, then the first one, double click on the layer style, select the drop shadow, increase the opacity to 86, then you click OK. 
So your test will now come out bold. Then you copy this one again, Ctrl C. And I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then you drag it down. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then Ctrl A to select all. Apply vertical alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Then you scale it out this way. Use your arrow key then to move it up this way. Alright, now I'm going to select my test tool again. Now I'm going to copy this one. Come over here, then Ctrl V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to this font here. Then scale it this way. Ctrl A to select or then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Then on this one, image now, I mean the test, I'm going to apply this image. Then hold your Alt key, you can see the sign now. You can see the sign, then you click. Okay. Now, I'm going to apply a layer style on this text. Then, go to your blending option. Select this bevel and a box. Then, here I will select inner bevel then smooth. I will leave the be uh, the depth at one one five. Then the size I'm going to use three. Then this one I will leave it at zero. The angle I will leave it at ninety. All the two I will leave it at thirty. Then and the contour. I'm going to use this one. So you can see it. Go to your drop shadow. Then you leave this one at 86. Then you leave this one at 5. So this one you leave it like this. Then you click OK. So this is the outcome of it. Now, the next thing to do again, I'm going to copy this test here. Then I will select this icon. Sorry for that. Alright, then reduce the size this way, then you position it over here, then control U, then take it over here, then you apply. So another way again is to go to your image adjustment. Then you select hue and saturation. Now I'm going to select this test and I'm going to group it. Then you rename it as your test. All right, then select your test to. Then Ctrl V to paste.
then leave it as zero. Rotate it this way. Position it over here. Reduce the size. Then select your test tool again. Then you copy the dates. Ctrl V to paste. Then you scale it out this way. Position it here. Then you come back again to copy your test. Select your test tool. Ctrl V to paste. Then you position it over here. Then I'm going to copy this code here. Then Ctrl V to paste the color code so you can see the color here now. Then copy your test again. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then you drag it over here. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Okay. So this is what we get. Then drag this one over here like this. Then I'm going to scale it out. Okay. Now I'm going to group this one together. As the dates. Then copy this one, Ctrl C. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J. I'll position it over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. And I will I will decrease this one. All right. Then I'm going to bring this icon. Then reduce the size. Then drag it over here. Then control U. Take this one over here, then you click OK. Then I'm going to bring this image, reduce it, position it over here. Then I'll leave it like this. Select your test tool and you type the name Then I'll position it over here I'm going to change the color to this color here Then I will change the font to Belinda Christiana. Then I'm going to leave it at 40. Enter 40 here.
apply your drop shadow then you leave it at this number click ok bring this icon reduce it this way position it around the end Control U. All right, then copy your test, select your test to Control V to paste, change the color to white, then change the font to high man. Then come here, then make it 20, then you close the space, and I'll leave it at 7. So like this. Select it to use your arrow key to bring it down. Or you use your mouse. Then I'm going to group it. Then you rename it. Ctrl G to group it. Now, so I'll come back to my date again. Then I'm going to copy this layer style here. Copy the layer style. Then come over here. Right click. Then you paste the layer style. Then open it. Then I'm going to close sorry then i'm going to remove this one so after you remove the contour then the size i will make the size 13 then i'll click ok then i'm going to copy this one then Go to the time. Okay. Select this two. I'll move it over here. Then I'll group it. Rename it as time. Then right click. Then you paste the layer style. So here is the outcome of our design. Now select the time. Then position it over here.
so that is all thank you so much for watching please kindly subscribe like share and make a comment if you like this video thank you